In 1957, the Soviet Union was making preparations at the Tyuratam launch facility located in the remote Kazakh Republic. The Soviets were in a tight race with the Americans to be the first to launch an artificial satellite into orbit. On October 4th, 1957, the Soviet Union had their massive three-stage rocket on the launch pad ready for liftoff. At 10.29 p.m. Moscow time, the booster rockets were ignited and amidst a huge ball of flames and smoke, the rocket lifted off its launch pad. At an altitude of 500 miles, the final stage of the rocket released its payload. A beach ball-sized metal sphere weighing 180 pounds began its orbit of the Earth. This was Sputnik, the first man-made satellite successfully launched into orbit. But could it be possible that an artificial satellite of extraterrestrial origin has been orbiting the Earth for the last 13,000 years? In today's episode, we will examine the strange and mysterious Black Knight satellite. Nikola Tesla was one of the most brilliant and innovative men who ever lived. His ideas and concepts regarding alternating current are still in wide use to this day. Not only was he a genius in the field of electricity, he also made groundbreaking discoveries in such areas as wireless communications, x-rays, fluorescent lighting, and turbine engines. In May of 1899, Tesla was in Colorado Springs conducting research on atmospheric electricity. During one of his experiments, Tesla detected strange radio signals that appeared to be coming from outer space. In an interview with the Philadelphia North American, Nikola Tesla referred to the messages as coming from another world. They were transmitted in a regular pattern. One, two, three, four. This is believed to be the first time signals from the mysterious Black Knight satellite have been detected. And Tesla was not the only one who detected mysterious signals from the Black Knight. Italian inventor and electrical genius, Guglielmo Marconi, known for his breakthroughs in long distance radio transmissions, also detected the strange signals coming from space. In 1927, Norwegian engineer Jorgen Halls was studying radio signals. While conducting experiments with the radio signals, Halls noticed that some of the signals would echo back to him several seconds after transmitting them. Jorgen Halls was at a loss trying to explain the cause of the mysterious echo. And to this day, science has been unable to explain the cause of this phenomenon. It has since been speculated that the radio signals were bounced back from the Black Knight satellite. In 1953, astronomer and pioneer in the study of meteors, Dr. Lincoln La Paz from the University of New Mexico spotted the Black Knight satellite through the lens of his telescope while taking aerial surveys. Dr. La Paz is closely associated with UFO investigations conducted for the U.S. military in the 1940s and 1950s. The Pentagon was extremely interested in the Black Knight satellite and appointed Dr. La Paz and fellow astronomer Clyde Tombaugh to conduct a search for the mysterious object. 
in 1957 while taking photographs of Sputnik as it passed overhead, Dr. Luis Corrales of the Communications Ministry in Venezuela managed to capture an image of the Black Knight satellite. In 1960, researchers tracked the mysterious satellite as it proceeded on a polar orbit. They estimated the weight of the object at 15 tons. Black Knight satellite was moving twice as fast as any other man-made object and neither the Soviets nor the Americans had the technology at the time to launch anything that heavy into space nor did they have the capability of achieving a polar orbit. Robert L. Johnson, director of the Adler Planetarium, said that the Black Knight's movements were unpredictable and that it did not appear at regular intervals. In 1961, French scientist Jacques Vallée made a startling discovery. What Vallée found was a bright unidentified object orbiting the Earth in retrograde, meaning it was moving in the opposite direction of the Earth's rotation. At that time, neither the Americans nor the Russians had the capability of launching a satellite with a retrograde orbit. When Vallée announced the results of his findings and produced a recording to back up his claims, his superior confiscated his tapes and his files and destroyed all evidence of Vallée's findings. It is unclear why Vallée's superior took these actions. However, many believe that the tape showed evidence of the Black Knight satellite and that his boss was involved in a cover-up. In 1963, Astronaut Gordon Cooper piloted the longest and last of the Mercury missions. Cooper's flight lasted over 34 hours and he orbited the Earth a total of 22 times. During his last orbit, Cooper reported seeing a green glowing object in the distance and was flying towards his space capsule. The Muchia tracking station in Australia made radar contact with the mysterious object reporting that it was traveling east to west, putting it in a retrograde orbit. In the 1970s, Scottish scientist and author Duncan Lunan examined the radio echoes discovered by Norwegian engineer Jorgen Halls back in 1927. Lunan claims to have deciphered the following message from those radio signals. Start here. Our home is Epsilon Buddhis, which is a double star. We live on the sixth planet of seven. Check that, sixth of seven. Counting outwards from the sun, which is the larger of the two, our sixth planet has one moon. Our fourth planet has three. Our first and third planets each have one. Our probe is in the orbit of your moon. This updates the position of Arcturus shown on our maps. Duncan Lunan also plotted the vertical axis of the transmitted pulse along with the horizontal axis of echo delay, which produced a map of the Epsilon Buddhist star system, exactly as it would have appeared 15,000 years ago. In 1998, Space Shuttle Endeavour photographed a strange object orbiting Earth. NASA has since dismissed the photograph as merely space junk. However, the photograph does look similar to previous photos taken of the Black Knight satellite. In 2015, there were two more sightings. One was of a mysterious object passing in front of the moon. The other was of an unexplained satellite hovering over Florida, before mysteriously disappearing. Could it be possible that a 15,000-year-old satellite of extraterrestrial origin is orbiting our planet? Or is it merely simply sightings of space debris that has been misidentified? There are many unanswered questions and very few answers surrounding the mysterious Black Knight satellite. 
This concludes today's episode of the Paranormal Report. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. The team at the Paranormal Report really appreciates your support.